Yo, Explorer is up on the stands. This thing is fully loaded, fully loaded. I mean, every option available, but no freaking hood struts. What, what? I really do love this vehicle though. Got nice torque, nice power. I mean, you gotta love the twin turbo setup on a big Explorer like this. It gets out and goes. If you guys have been following along, you know that I did a 5.8 second zero to 60, uh, barely any brake boosting and just kind of just went with it. So. Uh, really, really impressive rig, but I got to top off some fluids today. We're going to do an oil change. Uh, we're coming up on about 6,000 miles since the last one, so I'm going to do it. But I want to check the air filter. I'm going to take the engine cover off, take a closer look here, but what I really want to do is get under this thing. I'm just trying to think of some things I want to do to it uh, that I can convince my wife to allow me to do. I guess that's the main thing. I do have a part coming. I, I'll just go ahead and tell you because I don't know if you guys want to are going to watch this or not, but um, we're going to install an oil catch can, which I think this vehicle will benefit from. So I have that on the way. We'll do an installation, a little review for uh, the Ford Explorer guys or the EcoBoost guys uh, that may be checking out the channel. But I want to get under the car, too, and just see what's going on out there. I really haven't spent much time eyeballing this thing. There are a couple of little dings uh, that I want to get taken care of. A paintless dent removal style get some of the more prominent ones out with black you can really see all of the imperfections and then i got to get it over to my buddy at epm detailing uh, kevin over there and see what we can do for like a paint correction and maybe like a, a sealer or you know ceramic coat or something get this thing really shined up it's a, been a little bit neglected I, I intended to have it be a vehicle on the channel channel but uh, you know, it's made a couple of appearances, but my wife just really wants me to not touch it. So I'm trying to respect her, trying to respect her uh, feelings there. But man, enough's enough. We got to we gotta do something with this thing. If, if I mean, accessories, can we get some arrow on this thing? We got a chin splitter or, you know, different wheels. I, I mean, what can we do here? <sighs> it's hot as balls in South Carolina. Golly. Just some little dress-up things. I mean, that might make my wife happy, too. She likes little accessories, you know? Right, I'm going to check this filter and see how she looks. Filter looks brand new, which is good. Just going to clean up the edges a little bit. Toss her back in. Again, it's really only been in there for like 6,000 miles. But no need to even clean it up. It looks great. This is the AEM filter, by the way, if you guys are interested. 2820395. I want to say, doesn't say, does it, does it say dry? Yeah, dry flow. I want to say, I looked for a dry filter for this car too. We like the AEM stuff. Dry is good. So to make it easy on myself, just loosen this and this pushes back and <laughs> it pops the air, uh, the air box cover right off, so. No use in hassling. Older cars are a lot of fun to work on and the simplicity of them is awesome. But one thing that's great about working on new cars is that everything's so damn clean. It's so nice to be able to do something on your vehicle, no matter what it is, and not walk away like a disgusting mess. I mean, just so clean. Good as new. Oil change complete. Look how low this thing is. Pretty easy to work on. Maybe we need a lift. Should we put a lift on the next floor? They just made that Amazon big break video. Somebody just pulled out in front of me at about 45 miles an hour, locked them up. Stopped on a dime, baby. Finally Friday, trying to get to the house. Soul Function sent me some stuff to make up for the issue we had last weekend. We gotta get this thing ready to hit the dyno. That's just a couple days away. So heading up to Charlotte to Soho Motorsports, hopefully uh, meet up with my buddy, Evan, Savage Panda Projects. Again, last time we went up there, did a little collab. We're gonna try to get some filming done this time around as well. It's been a really inconvenient time to T-bone somebody, I'll tell you that. You know what, I, I really love Jeeps. Seriously, love Jeeps and I actually want one really bad, but when when did it become a thing to stick your leg out the door? I mean, we get it, the doors are off, that's, that's cool, but now you gotta stick your leg out. I mean, it's not even a comfortable position to stick your leg out the door. You actually have to get it up and out and over to the side. It's not even convenient, there's, there, like, I, I just don't get it. Got some crazy bugs. Huge. Uh, what was that, a 
bison or buffalo beetle or something like that. Poor guy. A couple astute viewers have asked where the Sparco is. <laughs> She's right here. She's right here in the garage. For my back a couple of weeks ago, actually, just before we headed to Streetcar Takeover, a day or two before that, and that's about a two hour ride for us. So I said, I'm gonna pull that Sparco, put the regular seat back in and just kind of let my back relax for a few weeks. And it's been good. I gotta say, I can't remember, I, I forgot how comfortable the factory seats were. Even though they're garbage vinyl and not real leather, they're very cushy and comfortable compared to you know, aftermarket seats, obviously. So we're heading to the mountains in the next couple of weeks or so. So the spark was going back in. Don't you worry. I told you guys that Soul Function was very responsive to the issue I was having with the uh, the spacing issue with the the uh, the uh, four point M brace, and uh, I emailed them, let them know what was going on, and without even asking any questions or anything of that nature, they simply said, uh, "We have some spacers and we have some um, some of the larger rib nuts in the mail for you," and they showed up. So I got one of the rib nuts that they had originally supplied to work. Uh, the problem is that the mounting hole on the frame of the car is too large for those. I think they're 10 millimeter rib nuts that they sent. Uh, I got one of them to work. The other is just, I was, I was trying to flare it out a little bit to fit it into the hole, but it, it was just too small to grab uh, and it wouldn't be secure. So I, I might have to try to pull the, the one that I did get to work out, uh, but they sent me some larger 12 millimeter ones. I just told them some of the, the issues that I was having. I was going to have to, I asked actually for a part number to see if I could get it, get one to replace. Uh, and they just sent me two of the bigger ones. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, they sent me a couple of spacers. It looks like these are about a quarter inch spacer. Uh, so this may work. We'll have to get under the car and, and see if it gives us uh, enough clearance for the test pipe. If not, we'll just have to figure something else out. Things happen and parts are not always exactly the same and things don't always work out exactly how they're supposed to. And you gotta understand that when you're buying parts for your vehicles, it'd be nice if you knew everything that ever came to you would work perfectly and just how it's supposed to, but it's just not the nature of the beast. So the only thing that really makes that better or eliminates some of that frustration when things like that happen is the companies, is when the companies that you're working with are really responsive and really helpful. And I gotta say, Soul Function uh, checked all of those boxes. I emailed them on Saturday, I think. Saturday, Saturday, sometime during the day. And I believe I had a response from them on Sunday, even though they're obviously outside of their normal operating hours. Concept Z also responded right away during the weekend. They responded, responded immediately. Uh, you know, seeing what they could do or seeing what the issue actually was and were willing to reach out to Soul Function themselves. So Concept Z Performance, again, they, they were really responsive as well. So both companies that I worked with uh, were excellent. But the fact that Soul Function just, uh, without questioning me whatsoever, uh, you know, just by the information that I gave them, they simply just sent the little package out to me without even me asking. And again, all I did was ask for a part number or how I could purchase an individual rib nut and then just mentioned the spacing issue, uh, wondering if that's something they've experienced. And they just said, no, oh, sounds like you need, you might need a couple of spacers. So they put them in the pack with the rib nuts and shot them my way. So really, really appreciative to Soul Function. Uh, again, it just working with good companies that are really helpful and really responsive and they want the uh, customers to be happy with their, uh, with, with their you know, their parts and, and things. Uh, that makes everything a hundred times easier. But you guys need to stick around for the uh, review videos. I'd love to, uh, you know, recommend a part simply based on the uh, experience with the vendor themselves, but we have to test it out. We have to see if these things actually work. So we're gonna try to get them installed tonight, uh, which is Saturday. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have an opportunity to drive the car a little bit, maybe get it up to Paris Mountain or something and take it on a couple of twisty roads and see if we can tell a difference, uh, give you sort of an initial reaction. Um, so stick around for that. If you guys have been following along, you'll know we're going up to Soho Motorsports in the next couple of days. We've got to test uh, some different part combinations, and I got those two and a quarter inch test pipes uh, to install. So I want to prep those and get those ready for the dyno. Uh, we're going to check out and check them out and see if we can actually make a little bit more torque with the two and a quarter inch test pipes, which I'm very, very confident that we're going to be able to do. Uh, so I'm going to get those test pipes ready. Okay, I don't know about a project car. I think this is the next thing. Screw a golf cart in the neighborhood. <laughs> we'll tear the neighborhood up on this thing. And here we are again. Search for the best energy drink. Alani New Energy Hawaiian Shave Ice. That sounds, that sounds refreshing, right? Let's see here what's going on. 
Milani new Hawaiian shave ice. Take one. Um, very citrusy. Very citrusy. It's got a bite like a like a soda, like an orange soda almost, but even more so. Well, I guess it'd be if it was just like a strawberry soda. It's, it's not bad. It's just not the kind of drink that I like. Similar feeling in the mouth as like a, a Red Bull. You know, really kind of strong, a lot of, a lot of sours in it. So you can see where I got the first rib nut in and it's pretty firm in there, pretty solid. Uh, I had to, again, like I said, flare it out a little bit to get it to hook uh, before I pushed it in. Because you, you can't have it spinning in the hole. Uh, but here's the new one. This is a 12 millimeter compared to the 10. I'm gonna try it on the other side here. So. It's still, pretty small compared to the hole and it probably spin so I might have just to still flare it a bit uh, but I think the spacers are gonna work just needed a little bit of room between the the brace and the resonator um, but I think that quarter inch is all it's gonna take to, to to give me the clearance I need so I think we're looking pretty good the lateral braces are looking good under here still firm um, Pretty pumped to get all these put in and uh, test this thing out. So we've got a lot of stuff happening tonight. It's busy, we're about to get a rainstorm apparently, but uh, the test pipes are wrapped. They're ready for the dyno at Soho Motorsports in the next couple of days, but they're wrapped, uh, wrapped well. It's good for keeping the heat uh, in the pipe and keeping it flowing. The, the, the airflow, the exhaust flow moves faster through the system uh, when it's warm, you know? So as it cools down, the velocity slows so the idea is to keep that heat inside the pipe rather than letting it uh, escape and dissipate you know radiate off of the metal itself so it's always a good idea to, to wrap pipe uh, especially when it's up close to the engine keep all that hot hot heat uh, within the pipe so uh, these are ready to go it's so not gonna have a problem with the embrace um, touching the non resonated test pipes because there's no resonator so they should clear these really really easily um, but because we're, you know, we're going to keep the car street legal and these test pipes are just for testing purposes only, we want to make sure that brace fits with our, with our setup. But I wanted to give you kind of an update on what's going on. What's going on in Speed Culture Garage, you know, working on the EcoBoost, doing some stuff with the old MDX here coming up too. Um, test pipes are wrapped, sole function came in clutch and got me the stuff that I needed without any hassle whatsoever. Big shout out to those guys. Uh, but I'm going to get to work, start filming some more videos more content coming your way guys and stick around for the testing the test drive with the sole function brace uh that installation video is going to be separate too i'll probably start filming that right now so i'm going to 15,000 subscribers we're almost there i can't believe it i i just noticed the subscriber count the other day and i'm like dang we're getting there so 15,000 subscribers probably have a, a good giveaway we still got to give away that uh, leather airbag cover from Holisco's Carbon Fiber. So maybe that'll be the 15,000 subscriber celebration coming up here in the next couple of weeks. So thank you guys very much for the continued support. We'll see you in the next one.